What do I like about amber ales? I think I like amber ales because they balance the three main flavor characteristics of beer, all in one beer. They have maltiness, they have roastiness, and they got hops, and they all gotta work together. Hey, I'm Matthew. Welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking the 5040 Red Zeppelin Amber Ale. That's 50 degrees, 40 feet, minutes. I don't know what the dash, the single little tick thingy is um, in the symbol, but yeah. There are those of you who know, and I'm sure you can enlighten me. Before I get any deeper though, if you could make sure to uh, hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And hey, share this video with your friends and family and those who you know would like beer. Uh, so amber ales, I've had quite a few. I like amber ales. Um, I'm not gonna say it was the first style that I liked, but it certainly was an early, um, an early check on the list. Hey, what are the styles I like in general? I like amber ales. And that was because they balance all the things that make beer. You don't generally talk about the water of a beer having a flavor, though I have had beers that were about the water, that you could really taste the water and you could see the positive impact it made on the beer. Um, but when you're talking about the three main uh, seeable, <laughs> visible, uh, tasteable uh, characteristics, you're talking about the malt, the grains, you're talking about how toasted those grains are, the roast of the malt, and you're talking about the hops that are involved there. And yes, the yeast plays a part, sorry. Cutting things out already. The three of the, not the three, three of the, <laughs> already changing my definitions. Three of the main characteristics. The malt, the roastiness of the malt, and the hops. And they all have to work together. So it's not like an IPA that's all about hops all the time, or a, um, maybe a, a lager where it's very much more about the, the, um, the, the grain and the, and the malt and so forth. Uh, these, they have to work together. So I should expect in a good amber ale that I can taste the roastiness of the malt, that the malt has a presence, a really strong character, and that there are hops and they're working together. So these do tend to be more bitter beers than a blonde or a Hefeweizen or so forth, but they're not gonna be nearly so bitter as an IPA. And I find them to be a really nice bridge. Uh, maybe you're not feeling like a super hoppy day, um, or you want something that pairs better with just food in general and maybe doesn't require a very a more thoughtful pairing. A malt is a, you know, it's kind of a chameleon beer. It, it fits into a really wide variety of situations. Sorry, did I say a malt? An amber is like a chameleon beer. It fits into a wide variety of situations really well. Stands up for itself, but just plays well with others. And on that note, let's get into this, uh, this one in particular. I've had one or two, not that many of the 50, 40 beers. The ones I've had, I've enjoyed, though I couldn't tell you what they're names were at the moment. I'd have to look through my beer history. They are local to Washington. They are brewed in Washougal, Washington. And when I stick this up to my nose, you smell the malts. They are there. They are very present. They have a really nice, um, like it's maybe a, a, a medium bread, like a whole grain, whole grain bread, not, not a bleached white bread or a super dark, um, you know, rustic loaf. It's kind of in the middle. And there is definitely a nice kind of a light toastiness to it as well. Any hops are pretty, pretty earthy. Though there is also maybe a hint of fruitiness, like a, a stone fruit, which I'm not sure I'd expect in an amber, just stylistically. Obviously, you know, flavors vary in any given expression of a specific style. So the choices made in this beer, the, the choice of the grain used, the choice of the yeasts, the waters, the, the pH, and all that stuff are all going to contribute to that. So, you know, I'm not expecting this to hold the standard, as it were. It can hold the standard while still being in a pretty broad, you know, zone somewhere in there. There's almost a, there's an apple character, which is really quite nice. Well, 
Enough sniffing. Let's drink. Ooh. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's very good. Um, so it's kind of like apple pie and coffee kind of at the same time but the apple pie isn't like super sweet so so there's stuff going on there and it's all going on and it balances really nicely uh, so there's this roastiness definite roastiness it's kind of a it's there it's present and then there's this nice like warm smooth sweetness so think apples rather than oranges not even as sharp as a peach or an apricot it's it's kind of an apple uh, a red delicious baked stewed apple um and then there's this nice kind of crusty maltiness right there in the middle so you have the <laughs> you got the grains for the for the crust you got the sweet for the apple you got that roasty coffee all all kind of working there together that's that's quite good And that this is all, like you can see it all there or taste it all there, uh, even while the beer is cold. That's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. It finishes with this kind of earthy, almost peanutty um, uh, herbal hop note. That's a real nice kind of a finish as all the all the flavors kind of fade. There's no hard finish. It's you get this really nice, you know, set of flavors while it's in your mouth, and then. And then they just kind of fade as you swallow, and it's a real nice lingering. And then this kind of warming, earthy, uh, you know, hoppiness just kind of builds and kind of from back of the throat to the back of the mouth. That's that's good. I like that quite a bit. So why do I like amber ales? I like amber ales because. They have the different parts of the flavors of the beer having to work together really well. Parts that sometimes in other styles are more dominant. Here, they have to be balanced. This one balances them very nicely and makes a very tasty, very interesting, very enjoyable, but still plays with well with others, Amber Ale. This is Matthew. I've been chewing the boo drinking the 5040 Red Zeppelin Amber Ale. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.